I-31 male and my wife, 25 female, are going through an affair recovery, but she doesn't want to cut off all contact with affair partner because she doesn't want to lose her other friends and social group. Background I-31 male, discovered my wife, 25 female, having an emotional affair with her colleague, who was also a friend of ours. I had naive faith in her, but I began to see indicators, such as when I caught her on our home camera. She can't turn them all off, so I realized something was up when half of them were turned off. I caught her six days ago when I was gone, and she has been feeling sorrow, regret, sadness, and even suicidal all week. She is the breadwinner in the marriage, while I am mostly a house husband with part-time employment. She is opposed to divorce. She confesses it after the third time I repeat myself. She had an emotional affair and only kissed him since, no she claims, and that she is mostly responsible for initiating, claiming that he responded but it was. All her mistake. The emotional romance continued around 2-3 months when I sensed something odd but dismissed it as my envy. We've been dating for 5 years and married just 3 months ago, therefore the affair took place soon after our wedding. She is angry with me since I have failed my board exams four times and have not maintained the home duty and financial stability. This, in turn, led to bickering and a breakdown in communication, which forced her to confide in a colleague. Now comes the problem. She has taken steps to save our marriage, such as agreeing to install additional cameras, checking in and contacting me, photographing who is with her at lunch and so on. He is no longer permitted in our house, and she has informed him that their interactions will be strictly business-related. She has barred him on her phone and on work messenger, yet they all share a tight buddy group, a close group of four friends which also go to the same gym, drinking, partying, and when a party gets together, a group of 15 friends that all know each other. She treasures her pals since they are all she has in the new state she has relocated to. I, too, have strong friendship values and do not want her to lose these pals. She doesn't want to make her friends uncomfortable or lose them, so she informed me she still feels she can be nice and limit her conversations with her affair partner in the group. Personally, I don't think it will help the marriage heal since I've read from many sites that the affair partner must be cut out totally outside of work contacts for a coworker. I understand that every relationship is unique, and I am concerned that if she discontinues all communication with the affair partner, she would become estranged from her friends and lose her social circle. Losing her friends is like to losing a piece of herself. It would also imply that I would lose these pals. Her close pals are unaware of the romance. She has informed me that she would be going to the gym with two of her pals, two of the close four friends, and that she will be drinking for a special occasion. One of the close four friends had also invited the affair partner previously, so she will meet the affair partner tonight. She informed me she won't and doesn't want to make things unpleasant for her friends, so she'll be reducing conversation with him when she can which will be difficult in a tight group of four friends, IMO. So all I can do is trust her. She'll go even though she knows it'll be difficult for me. Another reason she's going out is because it's been a difficult week for her, and I've been clingy and overbearingly hovering over her slash checking up on her, so she thinks she needs space for me as well. I am presently living with my parents for the express goal of studying and attempting to pass my exam in order to become financially secure and ultimately assist her with the payments, Therefore, I won't be able to see her for the next several months. She already need separation from me, so I plan to give her plenty of me time this weekend. I also feel like I've been doing a lot more research about affair recoveries, therapy, and tactics, and I'm eager to read books, while she's been working 10-12-hour days and attempting to distress by going to the gym and dining with friends. She has consistently demonstrated to me that she is putting forth a lot of effort in her recovery but she continues to tie both the problem of my financial insecurity her affair, her bringing up our home all by herself, my cleanliness and how I'm suffocating her, and how unhappy she is with everything that's been happening, so I know there are other underlying issues that must be addressed before dealing with the affair. How should I proceed if my errant spouse still feels she can be friends with the affair partner without making things unpleasant in the social circle? I don't think you can be friends with an affair partner again, prove me wrong and I'd even term them an ex-boyfriend. I also worry that with prolonged contact, the chance for adultery may resurface, making marital repair much more difficult. A platonic business connection is bad enough, but they are in separate divisions, so they can't be together. That, and I feel her friends will ultimately figure out why the affair partner isn't showing up to our home get-together gatherings, even if she makes up reasons. My immediate action plans, I know my first move is to give her a lot of space, 
otherwise she will feel trapped, which is quite dangerous. After reading several instructive articles online, I am more knowledgeable with a fair healing and want to put what I have learned to use. I also know that I will be focusing on myself in order to pass the board's test and maintain financial stability. We both agreed to marital therapy, but we must go cautiously since she needs distance at the moment. I also hope that the therapy will assist her with other concerns such as anxiety, sadness, family, troubles, and her loss of attraction to me drive, which I believe is heavily related to my financial instability and clinginess. I'm not sure when we'll be able to start individual or couples therapy, but I'm hoping it'll be soon. Update 1. After reading several comments, I felt compelled to provide further information. She has been quite supportive throughout the last 1.5 years, so I don't question her love for me, but anger has grown since I was a lazy house husband who could have done more and led us to more financial security if I had only passed the board's test. She needs space since I generally end up invading her space and even texting her with my ideas, making her feel caged even when she is at home, the cameras don't help, and she is now unhappy with me, thus the need for distance. Yes, it's bad timing when she needs space, which makes me question her, especially since she needs space right now to be with friends and her affair partner, and I've told her how I felt, and she says she wants to choose freedom over me right now because I'm suffocating her, but all she'll do is minimize what she can and possibly leave early. So I'm left with giving her space, monitoring the cameras and timing if she gets home too late, and allowing her train and hang out with these buddies for the time being. I honestly want these people to know about the affair since I trust them as well, and they will most likely separate her from the affair partner and respect the spaces. Personally, I don't believe she will be isolated, but I believe the humiliation and fear of losing friends will make her much more sad than she is today. I'm not convinced. It's not my place to inform her friends since they're her closest friends, but I realize that they need to know, so I'll speak to her again when she's less furious with me. Her original explanation for why her affair partner won't be at our house parties is that he was busy this month, so he can't hang out, and then she will tell her friends in the following month that he developed feelings for her so it's awkward now, half-truth, but I'm not sure how that will flow if she is already doing this. I assume she intends to phase off gradually and organically. On the day I apprehended her, she said that she would provide me with transparency, which she has, and complete access to her phone. I intend to request the text logs between them, and she agreed when we discussed this a few days ago. I'm going to ask for it soon when I'm emotionally ready, and she says she'd need some distance from me, when that occurs since I'm going to blow up from all the flirting messages. I'm afraid I'll discover her trickling truthing me, which I know is a red flag, and if it is drip truthing, I'll handle it appropriately. I've actually acknowledged my financial insecurity and even shared it with my family, extended family, and a few close friends which is one of the reasons we both came up with the plan of me moving back and solely focusing on studies, as well as giving her more space to herself. Sadly, this isn't working right now because this infidelity issue came up two days after I'd just flown back, and I've been in constant talk with her, even when she needed space to be many of you also seem to think I should call it quits. I sincerely appreciate the feedback. Unfortunately, the issue is difficult, and I still love her and know she loves me. I want divorce to be our final option. Not only that, but if divorce occurred so soon after marriage, all of her friends back in her home state would find out, all of her family would find out, and her work and friends in the current state she is in would find out all of this, combined with her current anxiety, depression, and financial problems, will not help her or me in any way. Nor would I want her to be any closer to thigh I've discovered a few affair recovery books that I enjoy and will buy them for her so she may read them, which she agrees to read and even recite to me. I feel she is inexperienced in many elements of a relationship, just as I am, but I am determined to do all I can. I don't intend to take any action until she has more space and is calm enough to speak again. Timing is essential, and patience is difficult for me right now. Her affair partner is her co-worker, young like her, and not married, largely of high moral character from what I know and didn't intend to cheat. She told me she spoke to him two months ago, and they had no emotions for each other, and that he would stop her if she did but then developed feelings, which eventually led to this. As far as I know, he is not a toxic friend, but he definitely let her cross the line. And he crossed the line. She cut off contact after a phone call to let him know she can't talk to him anymore. And he sounded remorseful as well and knew we planned to do marriage counseling. He tried to message her at work later. She blocked him. 
and indicated that he may be apologizing I don't really believe it or care at this point. I just want no contact. I was already perplexed when they were hanging out for eight hours a day and she began favoring him above me. I don't have evidence they had contact, but she did tell me she began having emotions for him before I caught her and hasn't revealed it to him, and when I caught her, she said she admitted it to him the night before. There's a lot that points to her sleeping with him, but for now, I can only trust her words and keep my guard up for any cracks through what she says. She confesses to snuggling for a long time and then having an emotional affair lately. I've given great thought to my next line of action, as well as the significance of timing when I bring it up. I've also found counselors for both of us. I'll have to be webcammed in, but I'm not going to start it until she's read, which will most likely be after I've asked her to read the books. I'm hoping the books and counselor will help her break off communication with her affair partner, keep her sanity in mind, erase her resentment of me, particularly if financial stability is restored and it still remains, and deal with her worry and unhappiness overall. Call me a fool, but I'm determined to keep going and salvage our marriage. Update 2. To respond to some further remarks, some of you have inquired as to why there are cameras in the house, so here is an explanation of the smart home situation. The cameras have been there for a long. They are mostly used to keep an eye on the home when we are away, since we have traveled quite a bit. They are basic power plug smart cameras that can be plugged into any socket, thus they are not like the cameras you see in shops. They are home cameras similar to those used to monitor a newborn. We both agreed to have cameras long before the marriage and had even planned to set up quite a bit of security for the house utilizing alarm systems and other devices to create a full-fledged smart home. It has now come to my attention that I have utilized the cameras for this reason, which I realized a few days ago should not have been used for this purpose if the relationship were to recover. So they've all been turned off following a chat with her. She offered turning them back on when she leaves the home but that was up to her since I've opted to fully trust her regardless of the technology available. Mind you, it's just been a week since D-Day, so I'm amazed at myself for forgiving her so quickly. She proposes turning on the front door ring cam and tilemates, as well as providing me the phone names of her close friends so I may check on her if I ever feel nervous. I doubt I'll text or phone them, but I think this is her way of comforting me. We've also determined that putting the marriage second and working on ourselves first is one of the finest options. I can concentrate on myself, which is the most essential feeling I have right now. It will also most likely fix an underlying issue and aid in the healing of the relationship. Concerning trust concerns, I began to feel apprehensive when she began spending more time with the affair partner than with me two months after the wedding. I'd expressed my worries to her previously, but she dismissed them as jealousy until additional red flags surfaced. We are using one other but she has expressed to me how she felt exploited when I told her I planned to aid her financially but had failed to do so. An essential point to note is that she has been assisting her family and repaying borrowed money from my extended family in addition to keeping us afloat, so she is carrying a big burden.